Saved by the Bell. How old were you when you started that? I was 15 when I started. Also, I did it from 15 to 20. Were you this exceptionally good-looking kid? Like, did uh, your mom push you and you say, listen, you're so fucking good-looking. We're <laughs> taking you down to Saved by the Bell? No, my parents are from Mexico. I'm first generation here. I grew up in uh, Chula Vista, which is the border town right there. Right. To Tijuana, right? Not the most upscale neighborhood. So, yeah. so my old man worked for the city, my mom for the phone company, and um, she, she just kept me busy in as many activities as possible to keep me out of trouble. Gang, Sports, this you. kind of thing? Sport, everything. That's and how I, you get that physique, right? Well, you got to start young with that shit. I, yeah, I grew up wrestling. My uncle's wrestled, so I grew up wrestling and I stuff. I should have wrestled, goddamn. That was great sport. <laughs> if I had wrestled, I mean, I, you know what it is? I, I, I lived like a veal. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you, you stayed in a bar. No, I, I sat in my room. I was afraid. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. Look, every day I had an activity, so I just thought that's what every kid did. Were and you a natural thing, athlete? Um... Yeah, it, it, came, it came. It came. Uh, it, it came. Kind of, you know, kind of easy. Well, I don't. I wouldn't know. You were the complete. Op- you were the complete opposite of me. Well, what, no, what sports it. were you good at? Mainly the combat sports like wrestling and, yeah. and boxing. And, yeah, and me too. Karate. <laughs> <laughs> karate. Those yeah. are the only ones I could play with the individual sports because the team sports, you always had to be there and always had different activities, so it wasn't fair to the rest of the I team. I hope you do Shotokan karate, the best karate there is, uh, of course, yes. Well, yeah, I, when, I was, when I was little, uh, right. I kind of explored with everything. But then I, I focused on, until this day, I still box. No kidding. Like yeah. got, aren't you afraid of fucking up your face? Well, I wear a certain headgear, you know, that you could, it, it, it protects the grill. You can still get knocked out, but it, it's, it's a certain little bar. Can you handle right. your, do guys challenge you? Because you're so handsome and their girlfriends freak out over you. Did you used to get into, fi- like, fights in a bar? Even when you got famous, I would imagine that this was a skill that came in handy. Yeah, it did come in handy, but then I got sued three times. Really? For fights? So, yeah, so I, I stopped. I'm about, uh, tur- it was all about turning the other cheek. Were know. all three times really a guy coming up to you and going, hey, man, you're not sued, you know, like starting in with yeah, you? Yeah, the last one, I remember I was in Daytona. Beach, Florida, and it was bike week. And it was like <laughs> well, that's of a rough time, like, yeah. Right. right. And I remember the bartender, a female bartender, she it was like last call, but she still served me a drink. Yeah. And I said, Why are you serving Hollywood a drink? Just and I said, Hey man, here you go. Have you know it's you cool. Have, yeah. have a good time. And then he's like, I don't need your shit. And they started just and I was like, Hey dude, I don't want any problems, this and that. You know, he shoved me, came back, he was a bigger guy, you know, I was have a strike first and boom, boom and uh, I ended up busting his eyelid and and next thing I know I got a little knock on my hotel room and was the cop and I said it was self defense but you have to let them technically hit you first I learned all about the law oh, in the state God. of Florida but everyone knows in a bar fight you know when you're about to get whacked you can't right. let the guy whack you first cuz you most bar yeah, fights how do you you'll know go you'll down you'll come back you will go that, down I think I was a lot bigger than me yeah. so when you hit this guy you knock him out with the first punch he f- he dropped he wasn't out but he was he where'd was you down. hit him yeah, so I hit him in the bar, right? And then he kind of fell to the bar. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. So then I was staying at the hotel, I remember, right next door. So then I was like, I was with my one buddy, he had a, because everybody else went, went, went away already. So I said, let's get out of here. So we went out of here, we left, and then they followed us, and I'm hitting the hotel button. I'm trying to get up to, I don't want any more trouble. Sure. And then he comes, and already his eye was swollen. It was already getting kind of, mm-hmm. already had like a mouse. Mouse, yeah. And he's like, you sucker punched me. He's like, I sucker punched you. So, and then I go, hey, man, I don't want, and he started circling me again. So the, the elevator doors weren't open, so then I had to hit him again. <laughs> <laughs> and you took him down? Yeah, he dropped again. Oh, <laughs> he kind of swore I stepped to the side. And then <laughs> Is it great being good looking and a real man? I've never uh, dropped anyone. I've been dropped many times. Thank you.